presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah. and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's had a great day, safe day. Had a great Thanksgiving. Kick into the end of this November, into December. Here we go, baby. Except others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to, is like trying to change a dog into a cat. A cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 67, NASDAQ's up 10, S&P's off 6.5. Gold, gold contract up, trading up $11.30 at 2034 an ounce. We have silver up 36 cents, $25.55. $25.05 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 61 cents. $74.92 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note up 19 ticks, trading 109. The 30 year up a full point plus five ticks at 116 flat and king dollar. King dollar right now trading down 194 ticks, 103.2. Whoops, there we go. Sorry about that. 103210. Euro is at 109, yen's trading at the 148 mark, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, we take a look at the S&P first. What you gonna, we're, we've been in an ABC structure on the way up. The bisect and this little baby right now. So we are done. We had taken the B point out all the way a couple weeks ago now. That's when we were at uh, the 430 level. Okay, blew away that B point, blew away with volume. That gives you a price projection of 462. Now, when that first happened, I mean, that seemed like a long way away, but guess what? Then you had another gap up. You've been laying out here, and you're laying out here right at, right below the last swing high from six months ago. So I suspect what we're going to see, we're building some cars right now. I suspect, number one, we're going to get that, you know, 462 level. And see, the timing is set up pretty cool here, too. Because what you have is that, you know, we're back from vacation. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. You're back from vacation. You're coming into window dressing. You've only done, on the second... You know, get go. So if we look back, you know, a year and a half ago, okay, that's where your highs were, were generated. First time down, you came down, you did a 0.618 retracement of the larger move. Second time, though, and this is crucial to understand, you only did a 0.382. So when you do a 0.382, that's a strong market. And we're right at the very top of that right now. So we'll see how we, we handle the top of that because what you'll also be able to get out of this, we're going to get the information. Just depends what the information is going to say. We're either going to have a have the volume behind the move, and you get another ABC structure up, and that's a big one, okay? Or you don't get the volume, and you just finish off more than likely the 462. So when you get ABC structures, the cool thing about them, folks, is that you have a roadmap. That's what it comes down to. Now, you know, it'll either work or won't work, but you're going to get an answer. That's that's the cool part about this. We get into the gold contract, so. Gold, 
we take a look at this contract here, and what you're going to see, actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the, the generic one. The reason I'm going to do the generic one is that you can just see how long we've actually been here, and in the context of if we break, you know, my take is that it's going to be an ABC structure up. This has been a huge amount of cause, folks, okay? This is like big time cause. And it's going to be the same type of deal. You know, we've been up here three times <coughs> prior to this, and it hasn't made it. Each time that we got up into this, uh, these, these higher levels at the, what is that, the 2063 level, or 2013 right now, it's given it up. So we'll see what happens this time. Uh, because of the way that the equities are trading, my take is that we're actually going to break topside. Because uh, if you haven't got the gold report yet, now's a great time to do it, folks, okay? Uh, what you've had out here is that there's about five equities inside the gold and silver market that have actually broken the consolidation. They've broken it with volume. Higher prices are coming at you. And when you see that, particularly because it's been a three-and-a-half-year consolidation, it makes the big deal. Now, when you put that together with the aspect of the... 10 year you can see that this is the we we finally broke the 4.4 right now you're at 4.38 on the 10 year if we go take a look at the 10 year you know bottom line this 10 year wants higher price lower yield and you know we'll see how this shakes out this has been consolidating here now about three weeks um it's a nice setup man it's a nice setup and the 10 year looks to me like right now we're running the 109 114 is in the game, and when this 10-year number one gets some juice behind it, momentum behind it, this is a monster move, folks, okay? You know, because we've been in a higher rate environment now for, you know, since, well, almost two years, right? So the bottom line, when you have a turn like that, it's huge, and then, of course, what ends up happening? Well, when you get lower rates, you're going to get a lower dollar. And we take a look at this dollar, bottom line is at the bottom of the consolidation that's already in right now is we are at 103 217. Well, it's 99,578. That's where this thing is the, the first level down. And, you know, we'll see how it handles that. But what does happen is that then you get, when you get to that level, you also get in the lower range. And once you get in the lower range, what that does is actually open up the 85 level, okay? So that's pretty intense, but it looks to me like that's exactly where we're going. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 80 at the NASDAQ, up six, S&P's uh, off seven and a half, gold's up 11 bucks. Let's go take a look at that oil market. So oil, that's been moving around like wildfire, man. And we take a look at that oil market. So just a sideways move out here today, but you can see from last week, that's a high volume low from last week. So oil looks to me like it's gonna be traveling down to this uh, 68 to $70 mark. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 72. You get the NASDAQ up three. S&Ps are off seven and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard. Uh, uh, yeah, 1 to 2. No. Yeah, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Hold on. 11 I'm sorry, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Shame on me. Uh, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, as well as he has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see right on the right-hand side, Mastering Probability. You can get it for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199, or 22%. You get it for one full year for $1,195, which is the savings of $593, are 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve has a huge amount of different tools that he uses. So first off, you know, if you get the six-month, a year, no big deal. It's still a 30-day money-back guarantee. As soon as you get the newsletter, you're going to get all those tools that Steve used with descriptions exactly how to use them. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I'm glad that Thanksgiving falls on a Thursday and is only a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the reason is because if it was longer, I'd probably turn into a blimp. Isn't it the truth? <laughs> like you can roll me right down the street right now, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Yeah, we can put on like 10 pounds in, in like two oh, hours. Between that takes two months, two months to take it off again. Stuffing, potatoes, and desserts, forget it. Right, I know. Exactly. I love exactly. it. Exactly. I love yeah, it. Absolutely, totally. absolutely. So, you know, I was born on September 9th. Okay. In my family, we've got a lot of, so I'm a September 9th. I've got a brother-in-law that's an 11-11. So yeah. he just recently had his birthday. A sister-in-law that's a 5-5. Yeah. A grandson that's a 10 10. Wow. Uh, a niece that is a 1 1 out there. Okay. Right? <laughs> it's pretty wild. Isn't that so cool? I thought, yeah. 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 So I thought what we'd do today is we'd talk about the nines, the September 9th, so to speak, the nine nines. I, I like, hey, listen, that. I went in the Marine Corps September 9th. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Uh, how about that? I know. I like it, man. <laughs> I, I love it. All right. So we're going to talk about the nines today. The nines we're talking about are the ones that were developed by Tom DeMarc. Okay. Uh, he described it in his uh, in, in, in many of his books. Uh, one of the books, so I think maybe the, the first book is called New Market Timing Techniques. So it's a very technical book. But uh, after I uh, describe to folks what it is we're looking at, they may want to go ahead and take a look at that. Or I can shortchange that if they simply, as you mentioned, if they subscribe to uh, Mastering Probability, they're going to get access to a... Um, 
a workshop that's going to take them through in detail exactly how this pattern works. So a TD9 yes. count, and we just focused today on the uh, tops out there. Okay. A TD9 count consists of nine consecutive closes where each close is greater than the close four bars earlier. Yes. And it works for all time frames, folks. Yep. So you can, if you're an intraday trader, you can use this tool. If you're a weekly, you know, it, it doesn't matter what your time frame is. Now, when this occurs, meaning when we get a confirmed TD9 count top, the market, market typically does one of three things. It's either a trend reversal, so that's a possibility. Could be just a hiccup, sideways move or so, or it could be a consolidation in a little bit larger area. And that usually happen right after bar number nine. Now, the high probability outcome is that a TD9 count top will at least pull back to test support. And one of those support areas that I look at is the oscillator unchanged line. Now, a TD9 count pattern looks something like this on a chart. So folks that are subscribers to my newsletter, they'll see the nines either at the top or the bottom out there. And again, we're looking at, in this case here, four consecutive, uh, nine consecutive closes where the close of each bar is greater than, not equal to, but greater than the close of the bar four bars prior. And the cool thing about the TD9 count pattern, Tom, is that it allows us to anticipate the market's next move out there. Yes. So what I do is, uh, as you know, you've seen my newsletter, and it contains a number of different tables in the morning and in the evening. And this table here I made up for, for our show, and this shows uh, this shows what the status of the TD9 count patterns were as of Friday's close. And if you take a look at the uh, fourth column here, it says D, C, D. Yes. Any, anything that's got a star next to it, whether it's a nine or it's a one, shows a TD nine count top. So it's a valid pattern. It follows all of the rules. I even have out here in the very right hand side, the last TD nine count top, the last TD nine count bottoms. They even show those TD nine counts that are there. If it doesn't have a star next to it, it means the pattern was negated. So when we take a look at this, we're going to see with inside the cash indices, we've got seven of the nine that I track out here that have got TD nine count topping patterns. If you look at the index ETFs, we've got five of the uh, uh, six that are shown out here. And what I've included is the equal weighted NDX and the equal weighted S&P 500. Those are really critical to understand nice. what they're doing as well. And then I've got the sectors inside the S&P 500, the Magnificent 7, Meta being the only one that as of Friday's close had a TD9 count top. Now, as I mentioned, TD9 count top should test their OULs, their oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line, folks, is a difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average of price out there. And so we put this on the chart here. This helps us. So we'll take a look at the cash indices. This shows us exactly where price should pull back to. And it's that green line that is on my screen right now. Each of these are green except for the transports. Now, the transports do not have a TD9 count top. So they're whether they pull back to test that line or not is as irrespective of, of the pattern that's out there. So right now in the Dow, for example, 34,950 would be a price target, 45. 505 for the S&P, the NASDAQ 100, 15839. So five of the eight U.S. indices have TD9 count tops. Now, a key index without a TD9 count top is the semis. So they've got a TD9 count pattern, but if folks take a look at this chart here, they'll see that the high formed on bar number seven. That doesn't qualify as a TD9 count top. The, the, the high of the pattern needs to occur on bars eight, nine, or the bar following bar number nine. But what we can say about the semis is that price got back to where price had broken down from. And that's a, uh, that's also another great tool of the TD9 count pattern because it's a objective, not a subjective uh, value out there. And oftentimes getting back to where price either broke out from or broke down, in this case here broke down, can be a top. So even though it doesn't have a TD9 count pattern, a TD9 count pattern, it did get back to a resistance level. So it could be a top. Three of the four equity future contracts have TD9 count tops, and they suggest retracements back to their oscillator and change line. But the TD9 counts, they can fail. Here in the blue lines, you can see on Netflix, you can see the successful TD9 count top and bottom. But if we come over here to October or November the 13th, when we had a successful TD9 count, the very next session, price closed above that high. That negated the pattern. By the way, Tom, right now, Netflix has a TD9 count top as well out there. The NQ is going to go ahead and complete its TD9 count top today. And that suggests that price should pull back to that oscillator and change line. So, folks, you should watch 15,877-ish. That's a price target. The number uh, moves up and down as price moves up and down. A close below that level, that oscillator and change line, that's going to suggest to move back to 15,748 and below that 15,465. These are the top eight weighted instruments inside the NDX 100. They make up 52% as of Friday's close. 
Only Microsoft now, because Microsoft today, that little spike higher, actually triggered a TD9 count pattern. So by day's end, we should have a TD9 count in Microsoft. That pattern should complete on Monday. I'm sorry, on uh, tomorrow. Now, during bull market runs, this is really important. These blue lines show that typically the buy the dipsters occur after two or three consecutive lower closes. In this move up off of the October lows, we've never had two consecutive lower closes. So today may be that first day out there. And that says this could be just simply a normal two bar knee jerk reaction low out there. So over the course of the next several days out here, we'll have a pretty good feel. Lastly, this is a seasonal chart for the NDX 100. It typically, Tom, this not wild. It typically bottoms on October 26th wow. when we bought this year. I, I had no it. idea until I pulled this chart. You know what's so great here, yeah, too, Steve? Thank you so much for all the great work. Is yeah. that either way, so you come back to Austin on a change line, if it's light, you buy, and it blows exactly. topside, it's like, okay, it's a failure and you're going to go higher. Unreal. You got it. You got it. Great job, man. Have a great Thanks one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Stay right there, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. It's out. Dow Industrials right now down 43. Nasdaq's up 18. S&P's off 3.5. Let's go to our man, John, in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? We're uh, just rolling out here, Tom. Thanks for taking the call. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Uh, it was terrific. Uh, thank you. I, uh, I uh, just have to say, recall maybe it was uh, a week ago today, was it, when Tommy was doing his show, remarking about the uh, O'Brien family clan get-together up there at the uh, 
South Boston Yacht Club. Do I have that straight? You have that straight, man. <laughs> that sounded like that must have been quite the uh, quite it, the shindig. You know what was so cool about it, folks, is that so picture that we come from a big family anyway. My grandma had thirteen. That what's amazing in this day and age, like my father was the oldest, so we only had two because he had to take care of all those 13 kids. But all the other children had like six. But now their children, listen to this, they all got like three. So it's so cool. Like there was over a hundred of us and all these little kids running around and it's the younger crowd that took over the reunion. So it's, it's really cool because that means it's going to go on for years. You know what I mean? Which is pretty cool. So... Going exponential, that's the way to be. Yeah, hey, man, <laughs> nothing like Irish Catholics, man. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, Tom, I, um, I wanted to uh, ask you if you could do a deep dive look at Royal Gold, uh, ticker symbol RGLD, both the daily and the weekly chart. Um, i just like to listen to you analyze it thoroughly, and I might also ask you, Tom, if you could pull up your Bloomberg and do a deep dive on the ownership uh, activity on that and the uh, revenue and profit tables that you uh, customarily do. So uh, that's my request. And if I could, I'd like to take uh, your comments off air. Awesome, John. Well, listen, man, I appreciate the phone call and we will uh, bisect and dissect this baby right now, man. Cooking, brother. Thanks so much. Okay. So if we take a look at Royal Gold, folks, okay, the Royal Gold's a streamer. The low for the year is 101, the high is 147. A streamer in particular means they almost work like a bank, folks, okay? So there's only 28 employees. So check this out. You get 28 employees. You have a, <coughs> a revenue stream of $600 million. <laughs> they're, they're, they're doing $147 million per 90 days. Uh, most of their business, which is good, you know, because we always have to watch out for Mexico right now. Most of their business is in Canada. They, they, they take in 239 million out of Canada. They get this 85 million out of the Dominican. They get 81 million out of uh, Nevada. They get uh, 54 million out of Africa and another 142 um, other. So when we take a look at this, and what has happened, folks, is this, is that the because Newmont and Barrick Gold, so if, you, if you're only looking at the GDX, right, what's happening is that you're not getting a full deal about what's actually happening in gold. Now, the GDX is up 52 cents today, but what you have had is that the Newmont and Barrick have been that more than 25% of the indices, even when you take a look at the HUI and the um, XAU, and they haven't been moving. They, they stopped moving a little, but they haven't been moving. But if we get back to Royal Gold, what you're going to see is this. You came off the bottom, and I, let me just put this on a weekly first. So you get your next move here is approximately, you're at 119.57, and you got 123. You know, you, and once, if we get to that 123, I was talking about the aspect of how some of these uh, equities have actually taken out the consolidation. I'll show you one. If we go over to wheat and minerals, and we happen to own wheat and minerals, you're going to see that that just blew away this consolidation. It's up at, it's up at the top, but you're going to see it basically took, a, took it out and took it out, you know, in style. So that thing's going higher. We go back to Royal Gold. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull up the ownership stakes, okay? Because what, what does happen, now, the way these ownership stakes work, folks, is this. <clears throat> is that the larger players, if they own more than 5%, they have to basically file ASAP. So when you're looking on the right-hand side here, what you're looking for is you're looking for the latest filing dates, which are going to be in September. And what you're going to see with Royal Gold, I mean, you got buyers here, man. I mean, you know, Capital uh, Group. Now, Capital Group is a large mutual fund group, folks, okay? They've always been in the gold market. In fact, and when I started the gold report, they actually invited me out to California. Um, their offices are, like, really cool, man. But they have, um, historically, they, they have a library 
that they let me browse. It was, it was just, it was so cool. It was unbelievable. Anyway, to make a long story short, they're not only into it, but they keep buying it. Okay. Right now they own 12.3% of it. Okay. They just turned around and bought on the last, uh, filing. They bought another 1.6 million. State Street, their buyers. You got uh, Millennium, their buyers. Black Rocks buyers. You can see this. This is what you love to see, man. You, and this is very unusual. You don't. You normally don't see something like this coming all the way down 9:30. See them all? You get a lot of buyers there. Now we'll flip that to sellers. And on the sellers, what you're going to see, the you have sellers for sure. But look at the difference in the the number of shares. You know, you're talking about 200,000, 150, 150 versus 1,400,000, 200, 150, 150. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. So I'm going to just go back to the buyers again for a second. Let's see if we got anyone. Yeah, so I mean, there's real action here. That's, that's the real bottom line. Um, they are going to be, the next time they come out with their numbers is on the 15th of... February. Now, what does happen is this. This is what's cool about a streamer, folks, okay, is that when you go through the actual contracts, right, the, the way these contracts are made is that it's predicated, number one, on the gross. That's why streamers are so cool. So they're not talking about any expense ratio. They get paid a certain percentage on the gross revenue. Now, on top of that, and this is where the kicker really comes in, is that you're going to see some of these contracts, the higher that actually gold gets trades to, there's kickers inside of those contracts that the, st the streamer actually gets a percentage up. So when you see, <clears throat> like we're 2034, we're at levels right now, folks, that every gold miner is making money hand over fist, okay? Because that's a, that's a, 2034 is a big number, number one. Number two, and this is where, you know, you'll end up seeing, you know, we keep, my take is gold's going higher, but as it goes higher, you're going to see a couple of these streamers take off like a rocket ship, and the reason being is that when they hit a certain level, like I don't know what the level is because I haven't dug into the Royal Golds lately, okay? But I've, I've, read all of them extensively in the course of because i've been doing this so long and when they kick in it's insane because the kick in is at a certain price so the bottom line you know my take they going higher stay right there folks come right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrials right now are down 25, Nasdaq's up 21, S&P's are flat. And folks, uh, you know, if you'd like to test drive the gold report, very easy to do. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Feature Content. You just hit that button. You're off to the races. There was a new uh, edition that uh, came out today. Uh, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. And, you know, uh, bottom line, uh, between, between the dollar and interest rate structure, folks, okay, gold's going higher. Um, and what we've also had, you've had a huge amount of cause. The amount of cause that's built up, it's a long time. You know, and if I, you know... Uh, depending on how long you've been listening, you know, the first time that we, not the first time, but the last time that even we got to higher highs, I just felt at that point it couldn't get to the 2,500. It's really easy to get to 2,500 now. We're only 450 bucks away from it, man. Uh, that's nothing in the context, particularly because what has happened is this. So picture this. The dollar had continued going higher, and gold still wasn't getting killed. You know, now the gold equities... What happens is that the gold equities really run from us three to one. That's, that's kind of how it goes. You know, gold's not, it's, it's not that gold's up a buck and the equity's up three. Percentage-wise, though, that's how it works. Because when you get to a certain number, and that, we're at that number right now. I mean, the amount of that, that it takes gold to get out of the ground. Every number that we get higher right now, the amount that goes into the bottom line is astronomical, okay? Because of the fact that, you know, gold at 2034 is expensive. That being said, um, <coughs> what has happened, which is pretty cool, and if I jump from gold to silver, is that what you are start, starting to see. Now, silver hit almost 50 bucks the last time. I don't see that happening. And the reason I don't see that happening, well, I don't see it happening right now, let's put it that way. Because, like, $30 is on the agenda, though, for silver. You know, silver's had two big days here has good volume behind the move. 52,000 is a good number. If we take a look at the, how this is set up, watch. And what has happened is this, is the silver equities that actually broke the consolidation first. That's what they did. If you, when you start bisecting and dissecting these equities. So what you're going to see here, when I have this up, you're going to see that, yeah, you get the big spike up there. To, what's that, $46, $49. But this is game. The, the top of... This consolidation up here is thirty dollars a game. Now, I suspect the same. Well, we'll we'll find out what happens when we get up to that level. But you can see over here there'll be a lot of flack there. But what does happen is that when you get a run, you know what what tends to happen. Well, not what tends to happen. What happens, no matter what type of run you get, meaning in equities and real estate and currencies and all that, near the end of that run, the greed is so extraordinary. And unfortunately, that's when people get in, get run, they run into it just as we're running out of it. <laughs> We've done this so many times, man, it blows my mind, you know, that, you know, you, you get the run going. Uh, but you can see, if I go back to the, 
the ABC structure that I'm looking at, you know, this is a clean ABC structure. And I'll bring this back. When you see how big this is, and the amount of time that it took to get here. The amount of time that we're talking, I mean, this, this ABC, you know, we're going all the way back to uh, 2004. I know that sounds insane, but the bottom line is that a longer, when you get something much longer like that, your probability gets a lot higher, particularly if you're watching Tiger TV now, what you're gonna see is that we built cars for three years. Three years. And it's, it's a beautiful structure, man. I mean, it's just like, you know. So, and when you take that together with the aspect of you're at, you know, the, over the 2,000 mark, 2,500 is not a stretch. Particularly, it's not a stretch when I'm going to go back to the dollar for a second. And you're going to see, you know, all, all these things, trade and consolidations, that's the bottom line. And we take this dollar, and what you're going to see I bring this all the way back. Well, you're going to see two different things, okay? Um, we're at the beginning of to trying to get into the lower range, okay? We're right, the dollar right now is at 103, 197, okay? Once you get into the, basically the, we're, we're really here as, but I'd like to get into like, let's say the 102. You get into the 102, what that does immediately is that that opens up a 90, $90. And that's not, you know, we, we traded at a $90 from uh, 2015 going all the way over to 2022. So you can see the differential when you have gold that's already over 2000. This comes underneath there, just a normal retracement in a market, you know. And we'll see how this shakes out. Because if you break that level, then, then you're talking where you're down at like a $70, you know. You, you have to take it step by step. I, I can't, you know, I, I, can, I can definitely see the bottom of the consolidation, though. You know, we'll take it, the first step, 99,567. You get into that level, we'll see what ends up happening. But you get, once you get... <clears throat> into the 98 level, that opens, that opens up in a monster way, in a, in a monster way. And it seems like everything is, is basically flowing that way. That's, that's kind of how this the whole thing is set up right now. We take a look at the um, XAU, the HUI, you're going to see they're all starting to get juice like a steam engine that's just starting to go. And you can see even looking at the look at this uh, the XAU you're up a buck eighty two and you're gonna see what I'm talking about out of this consolidation you can it's gonna be higher but you can see it's setting up we take a look at the gold bugs index same type of setup this is also setting up and when even non technicians see something like a break like this because this is a this is a long consolidation, man. You get a break like this. Whoops, close that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you can see the Gold Bugs Index wants to go first. This is pretty cool, actually. So the Gold Bugs Index is up 475 today, 231. Well, the break is at uh, 233. We're right next to it. You break, you break topside, man. You're going you're gonna to be up at this uh, 250 level in about a heartbeat because we've been here for so long. Now, the cool thing is, just even when, when Steve was, you know, educating us on the market, which was so cool, is that, you know, between the TD nine counts up above and the oscillator on change line, what I was saying to him at the end of the conversation was, okay, cool, man. Okay, you either, if, if you don't make it, you go back to the oscillator on change line. If that's what light volume, great, you want to buy, because guess what? You're going to be right back topside. And this particular case is the same type of setup, meaning that, okay, we'll kind of come up to the highs. You're going to either going to break them or you're not going to break them. You don't break them, we'll see what ends up happening. You can come back with lighter volume again. This would be the fourth time up here, though. So the way that the dollar is and the way that the interest rate structure is, that's telling me that this time you're going to have action up here. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 43. Nasdaq's up 9. S&Ps are up uh, 2 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Take a look at this, folks. We're going to get a move and a half. The, the 10 and the 30 are going to bust these highs in the next couple of days. Where do you see this? This is pretty amazing. If you're watching Tiger TV, if you're not watching Tiger TV, remember you can, it's archived, folks. This is pushing the swing with, mon here's the 10 year, 4.3 million contracts out here today, folks. It's pushing the swing with volume. This thing's going to explode topside, as is the 30. Watch this. USA. Uh, this is a, this is a, yeah, these rates are going down, man. 30, they've been buying them hand over fist out here today. And see, this is where we've been talking about. The market's the one that's bringing the rates down, not the Fed. And look at this. Look at this number, man. 829,000. That is a huge number in the 30-year, as well as the 10-year. Uh, so let's go back to the 10-year for a second, because this could be an ABC structure up. Because it has the volume. It just didn't break the B point yet. And if we do, that's 109. Yeah, you get, you get four. Four, yep, it brings you to 112. So we break this with volume, it'll probably go tomorrow. You get a 112, that's the next move. And then we've been talking about this 114.40 up here. But it's, it's a big number, man. And they're buying this hand over fist today, folks, which is pretty amazing because the market itself has low volume out here today. Not the bond market, though, not even close. Inside of the equity market, we're only at, uh, yeah, it's, it's low volume. People are just getting back to work. It's low volume. But you can see that note in bond market, not even close, man. 
uh, and we did break the uh, the 4.4 today in the 10. It's 4.383 as we as we sit right now. This thing's going to be under this. You know, this is going to be wild, man. This thing's going to be under four probably in the next week, week and a half. And what will happen once you, you this momentum starts, they're going to hand over fist because the the market is basically the market. The market is saying, higher price, lower yield. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health tab is in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. We'll get him, folks. Thank you.